Okay, in 4.4, we're looking at something called systems. This is very important uh, for analyzing problems in momentum uh, for the rest of the chapter. So, what is a system? Any object, any single object, or group of objects that we can separate in our minds. So, it's an imaginary separation from the surrounding environment. Okay? We separate them from the surrounding environment. This is now our system. The system has a boundary, okay? And whatever is inside the boundary, what, what is inside the well-defined boundary, constitutes the system. And what is outside the environment, outside the boundary, is the environment, okay? So here's an example. You've got two carts about to collide. You, we, in the first one, we have chosen both carts as our system, meaning the boundary is outside. Both carts are inside our system boundary. Okay. The other one is we can choose just one of the carts to be inside our system, meaning the boundary is uh, is surrounding only one of the carts. So in this case, any interactions between the carts are, in this case, any interactions are internal interactions, okay? Whereas in this case, interaction between the carts would be external interactions, okay? So you need to take note of that, and that is quite important when you're dealing with momentum and solving problems. Okay, uh, here is also an example of a man with a ball. Uh, we can either choose the man and the earth and the ball as our system, or we can simply choose the man and the ball as our system. Then any interaction by the earth becomes external to this system. Okay. So just make sure you understand that. It'll become very clear to us later on why this is so unbelievably important. It allows us to solve problems in different ways.